Just go ahead. All right. Good morning. Happy, uh, happy Father's Day to those of you that have fathers in the house. Um, I mean, you, you actually have your father in the house, Kimber. He's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. Um, to all the fathers, happy Father's Day. But uh, so Priscilla will not be able to join us this morning because it's already uh, afternoon out there on the East Coast and she's got family coming to celebrate um, Father's Day. And then, um, so yeah, so let's just dive in. Week one of the Artist Day, of the Artist Day, <laughs> the Artist Way, Recovering a Sense of Safety. Um, there is a a check-in. So let's start with just uh, like going around. Um, there are pretty much three questions in the check-in section of the book. The first one is how many days did you do the morning pages? Um, did you do an artist date? And were there any issues that were significant? Um, any, uh, wait, any other issues this week that you consider significant? So um, let's just start with check-ins that way and um, see where the conversation wants to go from there. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. Thanks, Mayor. Um, On my way home yesterday, I forced myself to stop at the river, get out of the car, not hide behind the steering wheel, sit at a little bench, pretend that no one else was there in my little bubble, and just kind of reflect on the week and things that we all talked about yesterday and then things that we've learned, things that I've read. And then um, I just put on my little audio book and listened to a few parts, just little bits and pieces of, of the first chapter uh-huh. and just kind of skipped around at different things and then just kind of sat quietly and listened. And that's it. Like I just thought, okay, well, I'm sitting here by myself. That took a few minutes to I'm by yeah, myself. I'm by myself. There, people are staring at me. All that just nonsense. All the no, all the chatter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but then the birds kind of helped out with that, and then the river oh. noise kind of helped out with that. I thought, okay, no one's thinking about me. No one cares that I'm sitting here by myself. They're Isn't all doing that, their thing. Yeah. Isn't that so funny? How quickly we go to that space that mm. people are looking at you. Why is she there alone? Or like all yeah. this stuff. It's like no actually no nobody yeah. <laughs> yeah and 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 I heard kind of the why I went there was growing up it was don't make a scene don't be too loud mm. your kids are to be seen not heard like sh- don't don't draw attention to us and so that was I heard that that little blurb things that would come out and I'm like mm, no they don't see me they don't care about me I'm not affecting their day at all Oh, wow. Maybe I took their bench, but they'll be okay. There's other benches. Like I just had a lot of self-talk. So that wow. the affirmations kind of help with that. Right. You know, and, and, and that's a beautiful example of why an artist date is important because you might not even think that you have all of that inside of you, all of that inner chatter. And then, yeah. and then you like go out there and you experience that and you're like, whoa. Yeah. Wow. When I heard Priscilla last week say, Oh, I go to lunch by myself all the time. I love going out. I'm like, oh my God. Like, just I couldn't even imagine. But it's not yeah. a goal. I have to do it because I know yeah. I have to pass that. Yeah. Um, and so this will was- help. This will, this will absolutely yeah. help because I would say that I was more, um, I mean, there are some people who like that is just part of who they are and it's very comfortable and very natural. And um, we talked a little bit about this yesterday, but you are a 10, right? A 10 of clubs. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. so 10s love that community. They love to be surrounded. I'm also a 10. I'm, um, and my 10-ness wants to be around other people. So there are certain um, people where it's just a little bit more challenging and the force to do that. So I'm really proud of you for for doing that. And that's like the perfect intro, like just sitting at the river like that and getting out of the car and experiencing it. That's awesome. Okay. (laughs) The conversation in the car a lot of swear words, but I got myself out. (laughs) Yay. Let's celebrate that everybody. Celebrate. (laughs) Good stuff. How did your writing, the morning pages go? I did really, well, the first day um, I have arthritis. So the first 
couple days I would because it was in that giant book yeah I was doing like page and a half then I would get to I'd wait a couple hours and I'd come back and I'd finish and I just kind of did like spot writing yeah Um, but I wanted to sit in the morning and just put on my music turn on my little candles and light the candles and then just kind of do a little breathing and get through it Mm -hmm. so I bought my little like I bought myself like four of these little guys yeah and I mean they're thin but they've got like things like back to back 200 and something pages in it so I thought I think okay, that's great well, for right now it's a good start and so um great. but I liked it because we get up around 5 30 anyway so he's gone out the door and I'm sitting here like from 6 to 6 30 just alone in my thoughts and just oh yay and I've missed it because I used to journal forever all the time until my hands got messed up yeah yeah but um I'm finding little tricks and tr- on, on YouTube about our th- people with arthritis and how they wrap things and you know so I oh, can wow. kind of get more writing without it being such a pain in the butt yeah um, but yeah I liked it I really did like it it does help to there's a lot of gratitude that I write in there anyways naturally mm-hmm. But I was trying to listen to things that just were odd that would pop up. And even yeah. though it didn't make sense, I just wrote it down. I thought, Good. okay. Yeah. You it doesn't have to make any sense at all. <laughs> like it's not, <laughs> we're just, we're just brain dumping. So, okay. That's yeah. awesome. Um, did you, was there anything else besides what you've already mentioned that was significant this week that came up? Um, the number three task, the time travel uh-huh. That really stuck out when we first last week during our group chat, we were talking about things that were possible in the tasks. And if there was anything that um, that was easy to do, <laughs> I saw everybody. To see, so that's of, the one that says list three old enemies of your creative self worth. Yeah. Um, wow. Yeah. And those came up pretty easily. Yeah, as, as we were sitting there going through the talk your outer state, I thought, okay. And then when you read the time travel list three, I'm like, oh, I know who you guys are. Oh. <laughs> that was like easy. Yeah. Well, and so, it's helpful, right, to to um illuminate them and just call call it out, like this person, this mm-hmm. person, this person. So you can see that it 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 in the end, hopefully the intent you'll be able to see that it's all about like their story and their journey yeah. and has nothing to do. It's zero reflection of you and your creative ability. And yet we take yeah. it. We do you know what's so odd was yesterday when you said um that part of my uh ability would be teaching. Yeah. Two of the people that squashed my dream of being an artist were teachers. And so it's so weird when you said that, I thought, why has that never been a thing that I've wanted to do, you know? And it's like, oh, oh. That, that was really, that tripped me out last night a little bit. I thought, oh, okay, well, oh, that's something I mean, there. Yeah. That is a cool connection to see that. And mom, just FYI, I went over to um, Kimber's yesterday to do uh, Magi readings uh huh. There's, there's a whole fiasco over at not a fiasco, but miscommunication over. I wasn't at Earthlight, and and Kimber had just reached out to me like, "How do we go to Earthlight?" And I was like, "Well, actually, hold on. I'm not sure what's happening there." So I ended up going over there and did a um, card reading for. That's when what we're referring to. In case you're like, "Did well, I?" I was wondering <laughs> where, where, you know, <laughs> as my head exploded, where wasn't I? What did I forget? How come nobody reminded me? How no. Can you <laughs> You're no, fine. we just got a little VIP treatment yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> right. We got Sounds spoiled. Like yeah. Sounds like yeah. it. And I was home pulling weeds. Thanks. Oh no. <laughs> that was my my thought was that I would. And so I was <laughs> when I saw that, I was like, oh shoot. I suddenly have the afternoon free. Like, does that mean I have to go pull weeds? And then I was <laughs> like, oh yes. <laughs> I will travel <laughs> and get away from my backyard. <laughs> okay so that time traveling one the enemies yeah yep. okay awesome yep. that sounds like an amazing really powerful start thank the- you yeah yep. okay anything else uh no no i think i'm good i've been i've got a really good support system here so anytime i need to shut myself down to go play or go ride or go whatever uh-huh. you know my husband's pretty amazing at that kind of stuff so I feel like this 
it's funny when my sister and a friend of mine both said, oh, I have the artist way. And I went, <laughs> but she didn't work it. Like, and in my brain, I didn't say that, but I thought, yeah, yeah well, <laughs> it's, it's a work kind of thing. So clearly you're right. not, you're doing your artist thing that you know you want to do. I don't want to do that. I want to actually do the, make this work. I know yeah. this can work. Can like this it. is the, this is the deep dive. Yeah. And I'll, yeah. 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 Awesome. Well, I'm, I applaud you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. All right. Who else wants to go and do a little check-in? Crazy. You want to go first, Blythe? I'm like, do you guys want to Rochambeau it? Like, <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Jim's keeping her mouth shut. So I'll just, or are you about to open it, my dear? No, you go. <laughs> you go you go okay what's well, your experience I, what's my experience I had, I had a good week Num number one I was alone for the week and I'm never mm -hmm. alone and yeah. um it was just I took naps when I wanted to I mean I would just sit down and take a 15 minute nap I mean and it was I was out and then I'd wake up and and go do things I I dominated a chair that I never sit in because it's not my chair <laughs> so I sat there um so I had I had a, a fun flowing week if you I, there were a lot a lot of gotta do's that were not so much fun such as thatching my ill lawn and that was a huge all-day project but prior to that um I did I have written every day and I come in here and I just say yes this is mom Andrea <laughs> I know and that and you've never had a start like that where you have written every no day. I just I, I I've told myself you will go in where I am right now and you will write and I write and I write and I write and I say okay I'm done and then I, I have to interject I do make my coffee first so oh yeah I, always so coffee I yeah have my coffee yeah. I come in here <laughs> and just do that and it really it feels good and I just right now it's just it's just flow of whatever's working its way through yeah um, nothing earth shattering nothing and and I'm not going back and looking at it so I I, I won't I mean it yeah. says don't don't oh. bother looking back I might not even be able to read it who knows <laughs> aim <laughs> um, but I am having fun using a different color pen every day Oh, that's smart. Oh, that's fun. I mean, based on, on nothing, I just think, okay, I used blue yesterday. I'll use green today or. or well, that. and that's kind of a very artistic thing and you do a lot with color. So that makes, that makes sense that you, you kind of do and that. I'm, it's like an I'm unintentional, doing... creative little choice. Well, uh, yes. <laughs> I mean, if somebody <laughs> looked at it, they'd think, okay, so she likes color. Yeah. Anyway, so I did, and my artist date was I wasn't sure what I was going to do, but I knew I've learned from the last couple of years, sort of what I can or can't do or should or not, not should or shouldn't, but you know, something that, yeah. that qualifies. Yeah. And I got an email from our local community center that there was going to be on, I think it was on Wednesday, um, Irish dancing and mm -hmm. from a, a troupe, a, a young troupe. The troop and I, I I thought I'm there. I am there because we used to watch River Dance and Lord yeah. of the Rings Fly. Lord of the no, Dance. Lord of, Lord of Dance, yeah. yeah. With Not that, Lord of the Flies, totally different. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> that was that was way back earlier. Um and there were kids from about three and a half or four to women, gals in their early twenties. It was fabulous. That's it was so just neat. I'm gonna, they were at the I'm community center at our community center just somebody so cool. local i guess talked to somebody who's they said yeah come to the community center and do a do a performance they were just they were precise they were they were disciplined there were no giggling i mean it's this is there were about there was one boy i would say he was about 11 12 that you could tell, oh my God, am I glad he's not in my house because he was just, <laughs> just on the edge wanting to break to free. create a little chaos or <laughs> something. But but then when it came to the dancing, they were just just 
it's just beautiful. It was just goosebumps the whole time. I oh. loved it. Yeah. And then I got up and I left and I came home and I don't know what I did from there on. So but that's awesome. That's, that's the first two. What was the third thing you were gonna It's ask just on? if any issues came up, um, it says, were there any issues this week that you consider significant? For my recovery. Says for your recovery, but just you know, like any anything that just came up that you know, like like blurts like we've been talking about blurts, like the like when when Mar Mayor's talking about even just getting out of the car and all the the and chatter, like that kind of stuff. It's it's significant. Just I mean, naming it is so significant to be like, whoa, I didn't because you might not have even known that like two weeks ago that you have that inner chatter. But did any? Yeah, I th I think I I don't know if I was too busy or if I was. I'm going to say too busy enjoying just the peace and quiet and what I want, when I want, as I want, if I want. Yeah. Um, I, um, seemed like I was, I was busy during the week and I, I, I really can't say that I had any aha uh -huh right. moments, but I did have just, a, a different kind of, of peace and quiet to eat Good. what I wanted to take. Yeah. One day I took two bites of lunch and I thought, I'm not hungry. And I just covered it up and put it in the fridge. And like I had it, not the next night, that night, but the next night for dinner. So yeah. um, it was just kind of, kind of a, just a very different week. It'll me. be interesting to compare that. Like, cause you had a week by yourself, which was just really special and lovely. Oh. Um, and it probably allowed you to flow with a lot of this energy. I also had a, a week alone. So it'll be interesting to, to compare this week with um, next week. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, um, yes. I, the little thoughts are going through my head, but I'm not going <laughs> to blurt them out right now. <laughs> that, that's why we call them blurts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. All that's right. It. Anything else, Mama? Any just tasks or anything that any tasks or anything that just came out? Here. Not I, I I enjoyed myself. I I and Good. by enjoying myself, I I enjoyed the artist's way. I enjoyed knowing that first thing, I'm going to get up and I'm going to write Yay! after my coffee. Um and I mean I just it, whereas last year it was like or the year before. Oh god. But I also got a smaller notebook and I don't have to <laughs> write in such a big one. And yeah. I, I think that was kind of a blessing and a and a relief not to yeah. um have a whole college ruled notebook. Yeah. So but good. you had your teenager book. Your teenage yeah. book. <laughs> yes. 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 So yay. So that's I'm so glad. Me. I'm so glad. And gold stars on that artist date. That's really, that's oh, really it awesome. was priceless. Yay. And, I mean, it, it was, it was priceless. You don't get a show like that for yeah. probably 45 minutes. Nice. Just, just amazing. Anyway. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, Kimber, that leaves that leaves space for you next. Okay, good. That leaves you and me, babe. <laughs> I'll go first. All right. Um, I really enjoyed writing every day. It was, you know, it started out choppy, but it really started flowing immediately. Um, yeah. And it's, uh, yeah, I think I questioned and then I answered my own question. So it was kind of a block and then go getting through it. Wow. Not with intention tasks but um yeah just flowing and then a question always came up and then I answered my own question and then I think the second or third day a monster came up just I didn't do an actual task but a monster popped up in there that I got to kind of talk about and rationalize with that's great um, yeah so you know, the monster that's still of course in my life Mm. uh but that was good but yeah just rambling and pouring out is pretty pretty nice and freeing it's freeing that's a great word uh, when i want to intentionally you know 
right, I think it'll be fairly easy. So that's, I think that's why the practice is, right? So you can like clear the clutter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it is a, quite a bit of clutter. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's yeah. a lot that happens in this space that we just, it, it it's not, it's freeing because it does, it gives it, it it's like, I, I feel like it's like, you know, either washing the windows where it's like, yeah, you could see through the windows, but when you just wash it away, it's like, oh, wow. <laughs> or the lenses on your glasses or cobwebs, you know, it just makes some space for a little bit more clarity to come through by first purging out the, the thoughts. I was going to say the junk and it, but it's not always junk. Sometimes it's real golden stuff. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. And then it, uh, I started noticing that it's all in third person, uh, talking, which is interesting. And then if I put an I, uh, I would like want to change it. And I immediately, huh. not I, not you, not us. Um, it was intentionally, it became intentionally third person. And it wasn't hard because that was automatic to me. So I thought that was interesting. Are you guys writing and from your own perspective, I would imagine. Yeah, My, that's really interesting. Yeah, it no, I'm interesting. First person, mom, are you first person? Like Ooh. I went to, I did this. Yeah. I did. yeah. Yeah. I'm in first person too. Yeah. So I noticed that. And then when I would slip up just these last few days, is it's like I'm getting the clutter out then I wanted to own it and say I, and I, it was, it felt wrong. So I even okay. would erase it because, you know, I'm the pencil person. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you erase so I did, well, and I didn't find myself erasing except when I was like, uh, I guess it's taking ownership when you use I, right. I'm going to do this and I will. And yeah. 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 So and that will be, the reason I'm a third person writer so far in the book. That will be very interesting evolution to see if, when you switch. Right. Yeah. And what that's about. So I'll, I'll maybe question that in the next week because what the next yeah. subject is sense of identity, go figure. The right time for that. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's, that's brilliant. Yeah. The yeah. Or two. Yeah. But enjoy the pages and, um, yeah, answered a lot of questions and uh, yeah, it was good. So I like the pages, like having that flow again. I didn't do my artist date. I thought about all the things I could do and I want to do, but then I, I didn't make time for it. Isn't it wild how easily a week can go by and we just don't, we just, it, it's uh -huh. very, it's very common that that happens. And I feel like for me, this week was easier since I didn't have my kids with me that I knew I had mm -hmm. a little bit more autonomy over my schedule. So I put it in my calendar and I, I have never done that before, but my calendar is filling up in different ways. So I knew I wanted to go on, on Tuesday, uh, last week. And so that's when I did mine. So that might be something, you know, having that had this first week go by where you're like, wow, like, where did that go? And how did that not happen? Um, that, and again, like it could be as simple as taking yourself for a walk around the neighborhood or going to the river or taking yourself to a favorite shop, whether you buy something or not, you know, so just making it an intentional time to just say, I'm going to commit my, to right. And then I did take more intentional time in the yard, going out in the yard and and picking up a branch or uh, you know, sitting by the fish pond, or yeah. I actually sat in different areas of the yard to look at the perspective. So that felt, uh, yeah. I didn't usually take time to do that. So that felt really personal and nurturing and for me. Yeah. yeah. So that was, that was good, but I think I will take two dates this week. Well, well the week isn't over. Today's a new day. <laughs> right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, we'll, we'll, I'll be, I'll be curious, uh, to see. And I'll tape it. I'll show you where I'm at. Okay. Because I need to get, uh, over that too, that block. That's a block I have on to be, to be seen on that Marco Polo app. Yeah. 
yeah. interesting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that pretty face of yours. Yes. Little quirkies. <laughs> Anything else come up for you in this first week? Issues? Uh, I have, I got a lot done and I'm very intentional in getting my tasks done. That organizational task that I've had for the last couple of months uh, right. is is really uh, close to being uh, done. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm going to work on that today and tomorrow because I want to leave town on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. um, and I'd like to have that accomplished, that task, the little room with all my with all my compounded stuff from my three households and then the trip is to go and clean out a household in california that i just left before the pandemic because i couldn't travel back and forth yeah. i came here and started a new household with all new stuff wow. then i had to weed that down to come to dad's you know um, so that's the process of completing that shutting down of that big household I had. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it was like 3,500 square foot house that my dog and I lived in. Wow. <laughs> right? <laughs> that I bought for my kids wow. and I just decked it out. Um, so that's, I'm pretty, pretty shunted down from all the stuff. Now the personal paperwork and organization. And then that whole household, a whole household in California. And that's when, and you're going to that next, next week. Is that what you said? And that's rocks and crystals and, and mm -hmm. deities and uh, great reference books and oh, uh, cool. great community and great friends and great neighbors. So have you been back since the pandemic to that house? I have. I, uh, I would go like every three months. I could usually uh, take my my father with me or uh, he doesn't want to travel anymore. And my brother is there close, so dad can stay with him. But he, he did, dad doesn't want to travel anymore. It's just easier here. Yeah. Uh, but then I did my knees and that yeah. kept me kind of in the house and um, surgery, healing, neck surgery, healing. So it's been, uh, might be six months since I've been there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But you're, you're going with the intention to start clearing it out. Uh-huh. Wow. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. And then uh, the rocks are sitting in, yeah, the rocks are sitting there collecting dust, rocks and crystals and, uh, you know, stuff that needs to be out in the world, making a difference. So, yeah. Big rock sale when I get back. Woo <laughs> right? I'll be there. I'll be there. Uh, right. So, and Excellent. a lot of artists days along the way and there. I'm trying to find what the, the solstice is for me. Yeah. Uh, I might just invite all those, uh, invite that community over to that house. That would, uh, yeah, it's a really that. powerful time of like just recharging ourselves. Like our, if, if we think about the sun being our, our source of, of life in many ways, uh, right on our planet, it's our source of heat, it's our energy, and it directly corresponds to our solar plexus, that yellow, our belly, which is like our gut, our fuel, our fire. Like how do we, how do we power up like with like, like, like with a crystal and then it's followed by this full moon. So it's a double, like both the sun and the moon showing up in their fullness and is really reflecting back to us. Like, how are we doing that in the world? How are we sharing our light and our gifts and our, our strength, you know, and how, you know, and where are we on that strength? journey, you know, cause I, I know my solar plexus has been an area that I've really had to work towards, like building the, like building it out and clearing clutter from, you know, mental energetic clutter. So, uh, you know, even just basking in the sun for a little bit on the 20th or 21st and, and then setting your crystals out <clears throat> that night for them to recharge. And, um, Crystal I always morning. Yeah, I always and, love putting a crystal um, in in the moon water, setting out a glass of water, speaking an intention into it, drinking the water, 
Um, yeah, really powerful week coming up. So um, I'm glad you brought that, brought that up. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Did anybody um, do the tasks about the imaginary lives, five imaginary lives that you would like to live if you weren't going to be Blythe Clipple, the oh, no, super that extraordinary? Fun, <laughs> What's that? It sounds fun. I'm going to write that down. Yeah, that is task number eight on page 39. I thought about this morning when you did the Marco Polo about it. Uh-huh. Yeah. And Kim also knows I'm obsessed with cows. I love them so much. And so oh. to have a cow sanctuary, that's right where my brain went right I love away. That. To, like like to yeah. be like a, a rancher or like what is a cow sanctuary? No. Um, so there's a thing you can look it up called the Gentle Barn. It's in California. And uh -huh. she started out getting going to uh I guess, slaughterhouses and taking mama cows and baby calves and rescuing um, horses that have been injured and oh. anything that's been, that's homeless or is getting ready to go to slaughter, they call her and she, so she's built this giant place now. And um, a lot of celebrities will now go and like adopt an animal and then they fund it every month. Oh. So out here, wow. when you see, all, I, there's, there's cows and horses and stuff everywhere. And my older sister, she does Reiki on horses in California. Oh, and nice. so um, I told her if she ever came out here, she'd have a plethora of, yeah. <laughs> of clientele. But I we drive by big fields of, of cows and I've loved them forever, forever and ever. Oh. And I say, God, I just want to go and have a cow, a mama cow and a baby cow one day that just don't ever get slaughtered. Don't ever, nothing ever, just more. feed them, take care of them, love them, let them live their life here. But there's cows out there that people don't want to slaughter, but that are, are injured or what I just want them. I just want them to come here so I can take care of them. And that's what I would love to have. I love that. And that, I mean, so, so that's where like this imaginary lives, like they, it really gets straight to like just a deep love that you, that you have. And then there is the 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 next step in that where you can do something fun with that or think about that or just planting a seed that mm. maybe someday it can like pull like it can move into an artist's date somewhere down the road where you even you know I was just thinking the fair is going to be coming to town where you go to the fair and you just like look at all the beautiful like I <laughs> when I went to the um fair in Texas. I think it was Houston. I would happen to be there for uh, a conference over the fair. I've never seen such beautiful cows in my life. And I know that in Idaho too, we have, I'm like, but just something, or, you know, who knows if they're looking for volunteers one day, you know, just having that, like, that's why this imaginary lives is kind of fun Yeah, to see like what comes up and like how it might actually play itself out in a, in a way that is healing for your soul um, yeah but I am that obsessive person that if we drive by one Phil knows he has to pull over so I can go talk to it or Aww. and there's some neighbors up the hill that have the the highland cows and they say don't feed the cows don't feed the cows little signs and I finally went up and knocked on the door I said we had five cows we had the golden girls right here on our our pasture that our landlord had but we have all these apples. The golden girls are gone. I, I can't. And they're like, okay. So I was able to go over and just give their cows little apples. I'm like, I won't touch them, but oh, I wanted you so bad. Oh my gosh. But, yeah. But, I love yeah. that. I just love them. <laughs> I love that. That's really, really cool. So that would be one of your imaginary lives, like anything around cows, like owning a how sanctuary that's what you were yes doing. yes yes big bottles lots of little babies yeah oh my gosh <laughs> that would be great busy oh, busy busy mm -hmm. anybody else have like something like that that just popped up as like number one like this is what i would and and it's in any timeline any era i do mm. i did i i underlined um a peace corps worker i have cool. always wanted to go into the Peace Corps. When I was in high school, junior high, um, it just attracts me going to a third world country and doing whatever. Um, I've never made 
a tiny step towards doing it because I've never really had the opportunity. But I would just, if somebody brought a bus to my front door and said, we're going to wherever we're going and on this bus, I'd, I'd grab, I guess, a toothbrush and toothpaste and go. Oh, really? <laughs> the heck with the rest of it. <laughs> so, um, and I, I've never, when I looked at it just now on there, and because I've got that one underlined. Um, Peace Corps. I've never yeah. seen that before. No, I never talk about it to any, there's a lot of stuff I never talked to anybody about, but that was, that would be the one, but I was kind of, <laughs> I went to San Francisco State. I was a little bit of a hippie girl, but not this hippie, but a little <laughs> bit. But, um, this hippie girl wanted to to go in the Peace Corps. Nice. Hey. Would there, well, like when you think about the Peace Corps, was there ever a country that you thought about? Not not in particular, just someplace where I could be useful and, and not necessarily being with, with children or this age or that age um probably i have an affinity to africa and that was when i was studying i was studying geography um africa was my focus place so probably africa somewhere i do not know i there was no no chance and maybe the dreamer in me wasn't alive yet except that i knew i wanted to do that and um so I never even followed it in a, in a dream situation or uh, this okay. is where I want to go. Okay. That's cool. Make me research it now and see where I want to go. Well, no, like, and I, <laughs> and I don't even know like what, what that would, <laughs> like I could easily extrapolate on, on something with a cow. Like that feels like we can have access to that, but you know, I mean, there are, um, in Idaho, there are refugees here in the state of Idaho. Mm -hmm. I don't know if like, I, you know, a lot of them are from Ivory Coast that I'm aware of, um, ways to help out there, like possibly, mm -hmm. I don't know if that's something that still yeah. speaks to you or if it's just, if it was the travel or again, it could be as simple as like, if there was a travel, like a, a desire to travel to Africa, like going into a, um, do they still exist a travel agency where you get like the, the <laughs> maps and the travel stuff, or maybe you do it online and just have a, an artist date where you play and you plan a trip to Africa, whether you do it or not, <laughs> like just where would you go? What would you want to see? What would you do? Um, maybe, I don't know. Anybody else have a thought about like, how I think that's an amazing idea. All right. Yeah. I'll go to Africa. If you want to go pie, I'll go. <laughs> I'll, I'll go i mean i just and and i don't want to necessarily go on on safari to see the yeah uh, the wildlife in their their real or artificial situation i just want to it's more the the people and as, as you were talking andrea something came in to my mind in a yep. sort of a way is like well we don't talk about those things mm. so that was something that was never vocalized yeah um, um, right and so that could be something to, to play with and write with like like yeah. that is just one of those those beliefs so you know that is a limiting belief that gets placed on us that we just like or an agreement right like to use the words from don miguel ruiz it's an agreement that we adopt we don't talk about those things mm. and you know and it's like wait what wait Unsubscribe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's, that's opening yeah. a little a window that I might explore. What about getting I mean, involved with UNICEF? Is that something that's still around hmm. where you can get I, involved? I'm, I'm, I'm going to check both. I mean, Peace Corps, UNICEF. And I like, Andrea, your idea that you're talking about the people from Ivory Coast or whatever. Was Local refugees, because I also know that they have like gardens um, and there's, uh, what's it called? It's, I'll have to ask faith, but there's um, a whole community where they do a lot of um, artists, artisan work, um, like weaving like beautiful baskets and, mm -hmm. and, and they make things that are like natively, you know, that they learned in Africa and they sell their goods here. So you can, I forget the name of what it's called. Um, but there's, you know, there are 
I mean, and you wouldn't think about it here in Boise, Idaho, that we would have, you know, a, a, an African community, but we do. And then, I mean, it could also be like, there's an Ethiopian restaurant right down the street from my house, like going to an Ethiopian restaurant, like just try, I mean, you know, like, and it doesn't I, have to I be will. I did yeah, the I Russian one a couple of weeks ago. So next. Oh, time you did? Yeah. And this one, yeah. the Ethiopian one, you eat with your hands. It's really, it's cool. Oh, wow. Yeah. So maybe we go there, have lunch one day or something, you know, and it doesn't, I mean, it can be an artist date, but it doesn't have to, you yeah, know. I heard it's really good food there too. Mm -hmm. I'm in. I'm, that sounds okay. awesome. Ethiopian. K-I-B-R-O-M-S. It's, it's literally right by the 36th um, Street Albertsons. Kibram. Really? I've eaten there once. Um, yeah. Um, cool. Cool. Okay. I learned something new about my mama. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would like to do uh, an artist studio on the beach. Ooh. Uh, probably right there where the redwoods are in oh. California. Like to run Red an artist Red studio, beach, and it's just like fresh air and and uh, ocean waves and art. Yeah. Like, would you have like? Like like you were saying, like this would be one of your lives where you where you uh -huh. where yeah I did different artist local life. artists yeah like little gallery gallery for sure certainly yeah awesome and and the beach the redwoods like northern California uh -huh. it's, yeah it's kind of central mm -hmm. yeah oh that's fun so there is here on um on Grove. Like right next to Eyes of the World import store. Um, I think mom, you and I walked in there once. It, there's like a just a local gallery of um just all kinds of it's mostly painting. Um, there are mm -hmm. some sculptures, there's some jewelry in there, but it was just kind of a fun little gallery that I stumbled into um one day and just kind of fun to see like what artists who our local artists are and um, support, you know, you don't have to, I mean, just buy anything, but just to go check, check out like an artist gallery, maybe that would be, um, yeah. And, and certainly join the, you know, the artist league. I'm sure there's yeah two or three. I'm sure there's stuff out in Meridian too, um, okay. galleries and yeah. And things like been, that. I've been in a frenzy looking for my uh, watercolor stuff. I set up my easel in my little room yeah. and, uh, and my watercolor paper and paint is hiding for me. I've looked everywhere. Oh. It's bizarre. Is I'm it in California? Yes. Um, <laughs> no, it's here. I mean, it was at, I had the whole thing in Eagle and then it oh. moved here. Um, the only place I haven't looked is in the office. I think I might have taken that out in the office for your girls to have it available to them that's the only place they haven't looked there okay. mm -hmm. so wow. it might be huh. in the bookshelf with the with the crystals and stuff okay we're, we're thinking oh this should be out there because the girls are artists yeah. uh, their uh, granddaughters are artists oh nice nice well the, that'll be I, i'm sure you'll find it Okay. Yeah, the frustration uh, is is appropriate, I think, because because I'm ha I'm having that urgency about it. I'm like frenzied looking for it. Well, and that's what they <laughs> often say is like when we're trying, like in in many things, like when you just release and like go and surrender and are like, okay, I've done I've done I've done my part that something just mysteriously shows up or you're like, I have seriously, I know I've looked here. Like, are there leprechauns? Are there like little gnomes messing with me that took it? Like I've been here, you know, mom, like when you were looking for, I think, um, I don't know if it was the four agreements or something, but you're like, oh, it was just, it was right there. Right there. Right. You look yeah. and you don't, you don't see it until you just kind of were like, okay, I'm just going to let this go and trust that I it will be found. And and it usually and it was not it wasn't this size though. That's often it, it is that we're looking for 
yeah, yeah. we're looking for a different container or we're looking right. for whatever. And I told you I found two. I have two. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to send with when yeah, I get the courage up, I'm going to send the second one to my sister. If one to give. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to go and buy new paper and new paint. And then it's going to be sitting right there. Right yeah. in front of you. In, in full sight. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Okay. Well, that's a really good, really strong start for everybody. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled because, and, and there are, um, you know, there, there, it's just week by week, week by week, day by day as it comes, but we'll be moving into chapter two. And I've written a lot about, there's a quote in chapter two that I just want to bring up. It's on, uh, what, what, so there's, there's going sane. So it's recovering a sense of identity. Um, so, you know, going back to Kimber's, I think I just have so much like, uh -huh. Tiffany, starting. yes. Yes. But the, the quote that has stuck out to me that has really helped me a lot was, how many episodes are there? Oh, she writes about her grandma's letters. Oh, it's, yeah, it's the last one. There's a lot of little essays. So there's Going Sane, Poisonous Playmates. Wow. Crazy Makers. Long section on Crazy Makers. Skepticism. And then there is an essay, I think it's the final one called Attention. And it's one of the things that I quote often now um, where she says the reward for attention is always healing. And, um, and, and, and what I see in that, oh, and I have a little <laughs> on that same page, I have a little smiley face next to um I don't, it's on page 53. It says, finally, in a house made of ticky tacky, where they all look just the same. And there's a little smiley face, and it says, Mom, because <laughs> you, <laughs> you and your little ticky, you want to sing the song? <laughs> da 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 they all da 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 and they all look just the same. Yeah. 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 Sorry. And that was referring to houses in Daly City that were just. Boom, 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 boom. Just so, oh my God. But she makes, yes. this, she makes this um, comment about the Tiki Tacky houses, about her, her grandma and like the thing, like that her grandma was in deep struggle and sorrow and grief. And yet she would talk about the lilies are blooming. You know, she would, she would intentionally seek out the things that were, and, and it's paying attention to the details and the reward for paying attention is always healing. And I have really found that because I think that, you know, um, we see signs like just, this would be a, a perfect example and it's, it's in my car, but I went paddle boarding with some friends on Friday and there was, um, there was a, a, a section of the river um, and not the river. It's not, we were not paddle boarding on the river. <laughs> we were at <laughs> Quinn's pond, still water, but there's this one barrier that you have to get through. And so I kind of went down river a little bit and waited. And I was, I was stretching, doing some yoga while waiting for the rest of the group to, to come through and, work their way through this barrier. And as I was laying on my paddleboard, I, again, I was just paying attention. I looked down and I was like, is that a, is that a shell in the water? And I, I reached down and I grabbed it and it was, it was this, it's an open, um, like a butterfly shell that, so I immediately went to my book called gifts from the sea. Cause I was like, that doesn't belong here. It's like a little mussel or a little clam shell. Whoa. So it was there and I pulled it up and it looks like a butterfly, right? When it, when it's open. And so I put it on the front of my battle board. And then I started collecting like little feathers that I found on the way. Like I had this whole shrine by the time I was done paddle boarding at the top of my paddle board. But I, the, the reward is paying attention because I noticed it and went down and I picked it up because I was just in that present moment. And then just this morning before, um, after I did my morning pages, I went to this book gift from the sea and looked at what that shell means. So she does these chapters based on, on shells. And 
the closest one I found is called a double sunrise. And she talks about how, um, like relationships are ever growing, right? Like that, there, that there is the first phase of a relationship that is, is meant to change and evolve. Like there's the two pieces coming together and they're held, but it's really delicately held together by this, but it's meant to, um, to evolve into something else. So we can't like hold on and always wish that it was the same. Like, so there is this, it, the, basically her, the takeaway that I had is that it's about how we are meant to grow in our relationships, whether it's our personal relationships where I'm in, you know, uh, you know, personal relationships and how they grow and how you support one another in that, or how sometimes relationships just, they, they end because, uh, the growth rate is different or there's just no common ground anymore, but like how to find common ground. And, um, but I thought that that was cool seeing, because the last time I received a, a shell was in my backyard and it was the moon shell and it really spoke to me. And I wrote a piece on the moon shell. Um, and so it was just, I thought it was super cool that it, it's been a while since I just stumbled across the shell and looking for the meanings of it. Um, so I encourage everybody as we embark into the week ahead to just really pay, pay attention. And the more present we are in our lives, like I often sit here and um, outside my, my desk window, I have a rose bush that desperately needs some attention, but is doing just fine without it. And sometimes, you know, hummingbirds come to it or little finches or little birds. And I just just paying attention. It's who knows if there's a message that is being sent to you. And, and I, I feel like there are more messages that the universe is constantly trying to talk to us. Um, is, and it's up to us to slow down, open our eyes, pay attention and receive those messages. So, um, that's that, that was, one thing that I just wanted to bring up ahead of time to, as you move forward, pay attention, pay attention. You know, on that last page that you were telling us about page 52, three. Yeah. I just, I put a note on the top of it. it. Just, I just wanted to make sure that when I got there and I wrote, pay attention. And it's oh. like, and I laughed to myself because the title is attention and uh. <laughs> uh, pay attention, then you just say pay attention and it was just like okay I got it no that's cool that's cool yeah <laughs> just funny I mean I had a little giggle so yeah it's a really it's a really lovely like that was one of my favorite essays about her grandmother and her her letters and um really beautiful and I know that you know letter writing means a lot to me and that's something that you know you have instilled in me but um I have one right up here in my thing yeah. from my grandmother. Oh, um, sweet. Yeah. She was the blithe person in our family. Yeah. And it's just lovely. And I can't read it right now because I I would not be able to read it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would I would bab, bubble bubble burble, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So and then as always, there are um 10 tasks. Uh, at the end of of the chapter, and this is the part where you uh, invest as much as as you are able and desiring that none of this should feel forced, and I have to. Um, and if there is a feeling of being forced and have to, like pay pay attention to that. Maybe write about that. Like, why do I feel like what is the challenge there um, for me? Um, yeah. So, uh, that's, and it's all about recovering a sense of identity and this can dive into, you know, especially with the crazy makers, you know, different types of family dyna dynamics and where they are. And yeah. Yeah. So I encourage everybody to mark it up, you know, write notes, cause especially a book like this, where you can, you can repeat it 
year after year, you know, or five years after five years, I always think it's really fun to go back and see a book that I have read earlier. And like, when did I write that note? And what was standing out to me then? And where am I now? So, um, so yeah, so that is, that is what's ahead. And again, the, um, the, the morning pages, we just continue with that, carving out some time for an artist state, um, doing that and making the time to read and whether you want to look at it, like I'm going to read an essay a day, however, however it works for you or carve out some time on a Sunday, um, to do that. Um, yeah. Recovering a sense of identity. Let's That's what we're just jumping in there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah we're, we're, we're getting in the momentum. Hey, am I the only one doing it in pencil? Probably. I know you it's say, a hang up. You do, do you your morning ink? pages in pencil too? Yeah. Do you use ink, Andy? I go through so many pens. Yeah. So look at our colors. Look at the those three colors we just popped up. I got green. Oh, no, I'm going to commit to doing different colors every day. Oh, <laughs> fun! I'm pretty sure it'll be a pen. I'm gonna I'm gonna follow Blythe and start doing different. <laughs> I think I, I like might that do idea. that as well. I think I know how fun. Because I even have idea, one. Blythe. Thank you. I even <laughs> you have know, one one day recently. I whatever I wrote one one day, and then the next day I came over here and and I've got all kinds of pens over here, and I pulled out the green one and I started ah. writing. Oh wow! Remember these pens? I yeah. do. <laughs> Those are, that's a cool. Can you hold on to that? That's cool. That's nostalgia right there. Isn't that fun? Yeah. I think this will be my morning pages <clears throat> pen right now. Oh, right? I love that idea. That's yeah. Fun. Yeah. Love but that, that that's cool, mom. Like great, great yeah, suggestion. Yeah. But one day I pulled the same color out two days in a row and I started to write and I thought, that's I want a different color. And I thought, nope, this is this is the color that yeah. came into your little hand. Right. Gonna... Voila, in my dad's desk. Effortless. Oh my God! <laughs> right, ask and you shall nice. receive. And it'll be interesting, Kimber, to see what the experience is like. Also, to write in a pen and not be able to erase. Not mm -hmm. no erase. That's no and erase. It really, yeah. I wasn't hung up about. Uh, it, it was only when I wrote "I." That's the only thing I had to erase. That was so interesting. I'm 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 fascinated by that. You I are, know. Definitely the first person that I have encountered who has um, written in the third person to to begin. So I'm just I'm just curious. I know <laughs> to see what that. <laughs> and I did go back just the last couple of days. I went back and I read uh, all of the last of the three pages or some of the last of the three pages to see what it was. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It, it would be interesting, Mayor and maybe Andrea, you too, to try and write in the third person. Ooh, Whereas, right. You can try third and I'll try first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I will. Like, that's a, that's a good, that's kind that's of a, a good task. little undertaking yeah. to see what, what comes up. Yeah. The, how different it feels to that write. Would be, that would be strange. And hard. It's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. All right. Yeah. I like that you can write as your little baby artist. Right. <laughs> right. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. Like right through the lens of yeah. Very fun. I think I, I think I will um accept that challenge. But I'm gonna have to write it down at the top of my pages so that I remember <laughs> as soon as I get off this call. Go write down like right. try one day in the third person. Yeah. Very fun. Very fun. Okay. Well, I wish you all a beautiful Sunday. Um, enjoy your day. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the Marco Polo throughout the week. Uh, if that is a, a space that you feel comfortable using or it works for you. Um, but usually I'll just do a check-in over there if I haven't um, by about Wednesday and just be like, hey, we're halfway through the week. <laughs> you know what? Have you done your artist date yet? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Yeah, just what's coming up and 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 just sharing because the more we go into it, 
the more might come up. And I do find it helpful for me personally. And I realize that not everybody's the same, but I find verbal processing can be helpful when I know it's a safe space. So just want to send that to everybody. Right. And it is very safe. I acknowledge that it is. Uh, And it touches me what people are sharing. So I can share with you. Yay. (laughs) All right. Well, have a beautiful Sunday and we'll see you in Marco Polo land or then back here again. Same time, same place next week. All righty. Bye.